Hello, in this video we're going to go over starting a new project and registering scans together. All right, let's get started. I'm going to start off Autodesk Recap. And our first step is going to be to start a new project. So click in the upper left hand corner, click this new project button. Then we want to name it. This, these scans are from the tech shop in San Francisco. So I'm going to call this tech shop. SF version one. Then under that, you can click the place to save your files. I'm going to select this folder and then click proceed. So now we need to import our scan files. We can do that by clicking one of these two buttons, which will bring us to a browser and we can select files or an entire folder, or we can use the new drag and drop feature here. Let's try that. So I have my raw scans here, and I have four scans. So I'm just going to select those and drag and drop them. Now you'll see the list of scans shows up on the left-hand side here, and you can see there is a progress bar around each one showing the loading of scans. The recap software is designed so that you can keep working while things are processing in the background. So let's go ahead and click Register Scans. Now the first scan is imported, and you can see on the left side the progress bar has been replaced with a mirror ball showing the scan location. So in the GUI, in general, you're going to notice it's going to try to tell you what to do along the way. So it's very intuitive what the next step is in the process. So down at the bottom here, you're going to see it's telling me to choose a scan as a starting point. This scan will be locked in place, and the other scans will be aligned to this scan. So now what we want to do is select the scan that is locked and is our starting position. On the left here you can see the list of scans importing and you can double click any one of these and it will load up that particular scan. And for this project we're just going to use the first scan as our starting position. So to do that just click the icon down here or hit the enter key. And so that brings us to the dual window for picking points to register. On the left side, you'll see the first registered group with the starting scan. And on the right side, you'll see the unregistered scans. So first thing to do is to get our bearings in the scene. So you can left mouse to drag around like a QuickTime VR sphere style. Um, so the camera's locked at its nodal position. And so let's let's just see what we're looking at. Okay, so these, this table is the same in both. The scanner is just on the opposite side on this scan number two. So let's go ahead and pick three points in the Scanorama view to get started. First off, if you've done a lot of photo registration, photo stitching, or photogrammetry, your natural instinct is going to be to try to pick points that are right on corners, like here. Um, and with these, you don't really want to do that because it's very easy to pick a point on the ground as opposed to on this surface. And all we need to do is get rough points. They could even be up to a meter off to give the registration a course starting position. So what we want to do is pick a point that we know is on a particular surface. So here, I'm going to pick a little bit in from the corner and I know I'm picking a point that's on this table. And then over here, I'm going to pick the same point. They just need to be roughly in the same place, but more importantly, on the same surface, same object. So a couple things when picking these points is, one, you want to spread the points out throughout the scene. And two, you want to pick points that are on objects with different orientations. So you wouldn't want to pick all points on a surface that has Z pointing up, so I wouldn't want to pick this table and the floor. Um, it's better to pick something that's oriented in a different direction. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to pick uh, the wall is a good good position. It's so let's pick a point here on the concrete. That's about the same point. Again, not being super careful, and then we need a third point. So let's pick something far away from these two points. How about the back wall? We have a sign back here. So let's just click on that sign. Okay. And that brings us to the course alignment window. So you're going to see in the bottom right hand corner, it 
tells us estimated quality is good. And you can see in the points, they're multicolored orange and blue. And you can see that they generally line up. So we have a really good course alignment. So if we didn't, if these were, if this estimated quality were poor and these didn't look lined up, you can just reject and repick the points. So in this case, they're good. So let's go ahead and click refine scan. Okay, and then once you click refine scan, you'll see on the right side, you can see there's a progress bar. Again, with the design of the software, you can continue while that's processing in the background. So let's go ahead and pick number two. Um, and in this case, I'm on a pretty fast machine, so it's actually gonna finish up. I'll just let it finish up in this case. So there it is. It is finished, and we have in the bottom right-hand corner, you're gonna see the statistics for how good or bad the registration is. We're seeing a lot of green, which is good. So let's, let's see, it gives us three different parameters to judge how good the registration is. And you'll see for each of these, the green, the better it is, the closer to the center these lines will get. So first off is overlap. And this is the percentage of usable points in the scan that overlaps with the current registration group. So this is literally the amount of overlap. So um, we have a good amount of overlap between these two scans. And in general, it's good field practice to do more scans with more overlap. That's going to give you, it's going to fill in the occlusion areas better. It's going to make registration go faster. And in the end, you're going to have more data to work with and better coverage. So, and the second parameter is balance. Balance refers to the quality of visible features in the overlapping region used in the registration. So for example, if you had just one very flat parking lot with no three-dimensional features pointing out, you could get those two surfaces to, to overlap and align with a very small error, but those two surfaces could slide with respect to one another and actually not be very accurate, but still get very good numbers. So balance is a good parameter to tell you that that has not happened and that you have enough features in the scene to lock those with a high confidence and high accuracy. And the last one, of course, is the distance between the points. So in the overlapping region, we have 99% of our points are under six millimeters from each other, and that is good. So once you're happy with this, go ahead and click the approve button. Okay, and that brings us back to the dual window. You'll see that the scan that has been registered from the right side has moved over to the left. So now it's part of this registered group one. So now we just want to continue and register the remaining two scans to our group one of registered scans. So for the next two, we're going to use a little bit different version of registration where you pick two points from the top view. This method is usually faster than picking three points in the Scanorama view. To do that, just press tab and it brings up plan view. First step is to get the two aligned to each other. So you can do that with right mouse button will rotate and middle mouse button pans. So get the two somewhat in the same orientation. And you're gonna see these highlighted points are showing you distinct features. So these highlighted points will be good points to pick between the two scans. So unlike the Scanorama view, in plan view, it's good to pick corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick two points quickly. And it is a good idea to keep them a little bit separated. So we'll pick this bottom corner and that corner. And you can see that's all it needs in this case is two points. And we have an estimated quality good. And we'll click refine scan and accept that one. So that's gonna automatically take us to the next scan and we'll do the same thing. So pick two points.
Okay, and it actually finished up the previous scan, so it wants me to approve that first. So I'm going to go ahead and approve that because it, it looks like we have really good numbers here and a lot of green. So approve. And then it's going to take me right to the next one. So you can see uh, this is a good example where I didn't, the points I picked were not good for the initial alignment. So you can see it's obviously misaligned and I have a big red circle that says estimated quality poor. So I'm going to reject that and pick those points again. So let's be a little more careful this time. Um, so this corner is the same as this corner. You can see there's two trash cans in the scan right here. So let me pick that one and one. And then we'll pick one down here, a little bit further away. We'll pick this corner and this corner. Okay, and that's better. You can see we have estimated quality good, so we'll click Refine Scan. And you'll see that's our last scan, so it's going to go ahead and refine that. Okay, again, we have good numbers. Let's click Approve. Perfect. So now all of our scans are registered, and it does make a quality report. You can bring up at any time during your project. So we've seen a lot of statistics along the way telling us that our registration is accurate. But one thing I always like to do is do a quick 3D visual check. And you can do that by clicking the 3D preview button on the left here. And that will actually open up the scans so we can have a look. Okay, so everything looks good. See, there's no major misalignments. It looks very tight, so we will click OK and go back. And so now the last step is to index the scans. And index scans will take a few minutes, and what it does in the background is it creates the, the SVO or sparse voxel octree format for the scans. And this is what allows recap to be really fast with huge amounts of scan points. Once one scan is indexed, you can actually go ahead and launch the project. So we can actually have a look at the project while the scans are indexing. And finally, once the indexing of the scans is completed, we are finished with registration. Thanks for watching.